Hello, in this tutorial I will show you the basics of collision in Unreal. We will look at the import collision and three ways to create collision yourself. Here I have as an example a gate model. After importing, it automatically creates a collision, but I can't walk through it. If I change the view to player collision, I can see why. To change the collision myself, I open the mesh editor from the model. Under show you can now turn on simple collision to see the collision. To create a collision I delete the existing one under collision and remove collision. One of the easiest and most performant ways is to create the collision from a primitive parts. I first create a box collision. When I select the collision with left click I can manipulate it with WER just like other objects in the scene. With this I make the collision as fitting as possible by hand. If I use the arrow while pressing Ctrl, I can duplicate the collision. Once I'm done with the collision, I can test if everything works as it should. Nice. If the object is as simple as the gate, you can just do the collision yourself. But if it's more complex and would take way too long, you can do the collision differently. But then the collision will have a greater hit on your performance. First I delete the collision and under Auto Convex Collision, I can create an automatic collision. On the right side you can now see the convex menu. Here you can set the hull tone and the hull words as you want. And when you press apply, a collision is automatically created. The higher the values you set, the more accurate the collision, but the more performance it will cost. So let's get to our last option. This one is the most accurate, but also costs the most performance. If you search for collision complexity under details, you can set it to use complex collision as simple. You can see that it fits perfectly to the model, but it uses a lot of collision boxes. So that was the video about collisions. Like and subscribe if you liked it. Thanks and bye.